What's up, Greg? It's me, Danny, back with another episode of Trust No One. Because the government's out to get you, NASA's out to get you, the NSA's out to get you, and your sorry ass better believe that I'm out to get you. Conspiracy theories seem to be like all the rage nowadays. I've seen so many YouTubers talking about conspiracy theories. I feel like because the internet has brought so many different groups of people closer together, it's very easy to find people who are also insane and believe in the same conspiracy theories as you do. And that allows these theories to grow and thrive on the internet. Internet. I don't know if you could hear that, but my guinea pigs just started screaming. I think I'm being watched. I'm sure by now a lot of you have heard about the flat earther conspiracy. Recently I've seen flat earthers on the news and on talk shows where they stumble their way through their logic as to why they think the earth is flat and not round like everybody else on earth does. 9.8 meters, meters per squared meters per second squared. They even have conventions where they get together, I assume, to talk about their ideas and how they don't have any friends anymore, and just to take pictures and yell, we're not crazy. Oh, that's that's very cringy. Not good. Not good. There's some serious levels of cringe going on with a lot of these conspiracy theories. And while I was looking for those educational memes that I made a video on last week, I stumbled upon these Instagram accounts that make conspiracy theory memes. I use the term meme loosely because they're not meant to be funny. They're meant to enlighten you. Some of them might be conspiracy theories you've heard, but others just might shock you. Conspiracy theorists claim this strange object was found in a 13th century ancient Sumerian tablet. Tablet. It closely resembles a Nokia made in the year 2000. However, its keys are written in cuneiform. Is this proof of time travel? Now guys, I wish I had an explanation for this, for why this stone phone looking thing exists, but I really don't. There's really no explanation for it other than time travelers exist. At some point in the future, we're going to invent time travel. Scientists and secret agents and military operatives will go back in time to the 13th century BC with all the high-tech gadgets that they have in the future. They're gonna have top-of-the-line equipment, high-tech gadgets, and a Nokia phone that they stopped making in like 2002 or something. I don't really know how to explain this other than somebody probably just made this and it's a hoax, but why would, in the future, when we have the ability to time travel, why would somebody take back a Nokia phone from like 10, 15 years ago? They just went back in time to like, Play snake, I guess. And now, researchers have also found this mysterious carving on a stone tablet. I don't want to believe it either, but I mean, it's on a stone tablet, so it, it's gotta be real, and it's gotta be a conspiracy. This was Iraq. This is Iraq on freedom. Any questions? I don't know about you, but I don't have any questions, <laughs> except what? This ancient Greek sculpture was made in about 100 BC, and a girl is seen holding what appears to be a modern day laptop. Some paranormal investigators are convinced that this statue is proof of time travel. What do you think? That's a thick ass laptop, first of all. This woman looks like royalty, and she looks like she's got like a 2004 IBM laptop. Like, if you're a time traveling queen, don't you think you'd at least be able to afford like the new MacBook? <laughs> it says some paranormal investigators are convinced that this statue is proof of time travel. I'd really like to see what a paranormal investigator does aside from just look at the picture and think, Yep, that's a laptop. Yeah, that's definitely a laptop. What's What other investigating did you do? That's clearly a laptop. Couldn't be anything else? Not a jewelry box? Not some other kind of opening chest that they had back then? It's definitely a laptop. You can tell because that's how you hold laptops. This is how you hold a laptop. I really do like the idea though that this woman traveled back in time with a laptop and then hired some poor peasant girl to hold the laptop for her while she used it. A baby born in 1783 had two heads, one on top of the other with the second head upside down so that the next stub was up in the air. The second head had a fully functional brain and whispered random stuff to the other brain. It's not really a conspiracy theory, it's just on one of these conspiracy accounts. I just I just wonder what the other brain whispered. Hey little buddy, it's just me, your other head. Just wanted to say hi, how's it going? All right, this next one's even crazier. A man named Noah, who claims to be a time traveler from the year 2030, passed a lie detector test. Is he really from the future? So he says he's from the future, from the year 2030, and he passed a lie detector test? No one's ever falsely passed a lie detector test before, so I mean, there's no other explanation. He's got, it's gotta be true. Is he a time traveler or is he just insane? There's only one way to find out for sure, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, what kind of phone does he have? Is it a Nokia? Is it a Nokia 3310? This picture was taken in the 1940s. 
What? Sunglasses? A fucking cardigan? In the 40s? No! This can't be happening. This is too much. A cardigan? This dude looks like Ryan Reynolds or some shit in the 40s. Just in case you're not convinced that time travel is real, these images are from a video taken in 1938 of female factory workers leaving work. One woman appears to be holding a modern day smartphone. Is she a real time traveler? That's right, folks. This modern day thick ass smartphone. She's definitely not just brushing her hair or just holding like a purse like that woman is. It's definitely a modern day thick ass smartphone. Okay, I don't understand. If this was really a smartphone, would all of these like other female workers just be cool with it? Like it's 1938 and you're leaving work and you just see one woman talking on this high tech thing, like talking into it. Yeah, so uh, yep, I have successfully infiltrated the factory. I, it's 1938 and they have no idea. Why is nobody looking at her like she's insane? Cause they don't have cell phones yet. So she would just look like a crazy person. Why is nobody looking at her or being like, hey, what the fuck is that thing that you have? Also, do these people know how cell phones work? Cause you need a cell phone tower to use a cell phone. And to my knowledge, they didn't have those in 1938. So who is she talking to? Also, no one else has a cell phone in that period. So really, who is she talking to? <laughs> Smarter children tend to become heavier drinkers as adults. Is this some kind of government conspiracy or is this just sad? This next one is just silly. There are a number of photos online that appear to show celebrities in photographs before they were born. Take this picture of Michael Sarah in 1930s Germany, for example. Are these simply doppelgangers or are these proof of time travelers? I might believe this, if I personally didn't have dozens of doppelgangers sent to me every week. Seriously, I don't know why, but there are so many people in the world that look like me living right now. Most of them are women, which is kind of concerning, but it does not at all concern me that there's someone who kind of looks like Michael Sarah, who was alive in the 1930s. Also, this doesn't even look like Michael Sarah. The face is too round. I'm pretty sure that's a girl. It just does, that's not, that doesn't look like Michael Sarah. <laughs> this photo alone debunks the globe. No, it doesn't. This modern day Swiss watch was found in a 400 year old sealed Ming Dynasty tomb. The find baffled archeologists. Is this proof of time travel? <laughs> I like how they asked that after every single one. Is this proof of time travel? Like they're, they're scraping the bottom of the barrel just trying to come up with anything. Okay, how about this one? Is this proof of time travel? How about this? It's a watch. Oh, oh damn. Time travelers are showing up to the 1600s iced the fuck out with a Rolex on their wrist. God damn. Oh. There's only one explanation for this. Time travel exists. There's time travelers from the future. They have very small wrists, but they're absolutely iced out. I'm talking chains, rolly on the wrist, probably grills, the whole nine yards. And it totally isn't just a ring. A lot of these are time travel centric, admittedly. Like this one, a woman claiming to be a time traveler showed us this picture, which she claims was taken on Mars in the year 3812. And it shows what appeared to be a city on the red planet. I'm sorry, but this is irrefutable evidence. This woman wearing modern day clothes with a chipped nail is walking around modern day earth with a picture of Mars that she printed out. <laughs> she doesn't have some kind of high tech device that she's walking around with. She printed out a picture of Mars. That's like technology that's already outdated. Nobody prints things anymore. She got it laminated even. And she's just walking around showing people the picture being like, I'm from the future. A woman showed us this picture. So this person who has this account, it looks like they're in a park or something, was just walking around and this woman came up and was like, Oh shit, there's another one. A man claiming to be a time traveler showed us this image in which he claims was taken in the year 5000 and shows Los Angeles underwater. Okay, were these two time travelers just walking around in a park together? So this is a picture that is definitely not photoshopped of Los Angeles underwater. Could this be the evidence we needed to finally convince the world that climate change is real? The future is fucked! It sure is. Government. Check any dictionary and you will find that govern means control. And meant? Mental. Means mind. Therefore, government means mind control. No! Think about it. They wouldn't call it mind control. 
if it wasn't mind control. Conspiracy theories like these that are like, the answer is hidden in plain sight, just confused me so much. Cause it's like, if the government was going to try to control your mind, why would they name it like, hmm, so we don't want people to know that we're controlling their minds, right? Well, how about the name mind control? Like why would they make it so easy to figure out the puzzle? It's like those things where you see like the dollar bill and it's like, look, if you fold it this way, it's an eye. And the pyramid, if you count the number of things on the, all the stuff, then you get 9-11. It's like, why would they make a puzzle to figure it out? Why wouldn't they just not do that so that you can't figure it out? It's a game of Clue where they're like, we're, we want to control your minds, but we also want to make it this fun little game where if you get it right, you win a prize. Uh, you figured it out. We're trying to control your minds, you win a million dollars. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed these conspiracy theories. Hopefully I blew your mind and made you question everything that you've ever known. If you enjoyed this video and you're not Greg, why? Why are you not Greg? Do you not know what Greg is? I will tell you what Greg is now. Greg is our family on YouTube. It's my fan base. Everybody who subscribed with my notifications on is Greg. If you're not Greg, you're Craig and fuck Craig. We're the fastest growing army on the internet. Do not look that up. We're actually the only army on the internet with access to time travel capabilities. So all you have to do to join Greg is subscribe and turn on my notifications. So you make sure you do that. Guys, if you want to join my Patreon or buy my merch, links to those are in the descriptions below. Thank you, Grace Motley, for turning on my notifications. You are truly Greg. I'll see you guys next time with a very interesting video where I go around kicking high school janitors in the knees. Bye.